Alrighty, so, uh, we're gonna go back to the good old tried and true Fortnite, um, but second this time, clearly, uh, but can I select the game? Because then I'll be able to actually show you guys what I can see. There we go, OBS finally agreeing with me. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm going to play some Fortnite. I'm going to use the new skin that came out for the members that have the pass. Uh, I'll buy just so you guys can see the new skin that just came out for members. Right. All of those skins. Brug. T-Pose is in the shop. That's good. Anyways, uh, yeah, no, I was currently built, uh, currently building, I was building a map yesterday and never finished building it, so that's pretty much what I'm doing now, is finishing up that map. It should only take me like 10, 15 minutes tops. Do, 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 I got a shiny Lapras. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny to me. I was listening to uh, the, uh, uh, what is it? I, I forget what that song is actually called. The one from Three Houses. <laughs> Edge of Dawn, there we are. So I doubt anybody from my normal squad is here, so they're not going to see uh, my beautiful map I'm working on. Uh, again, still working on it, but I came up with a new idea, uh, instead of having a middle present, because I kind of want to give people presents as, like, random item spawns. That still stays there? Nope. Okay, so, this is center. Right here. Right here is center. Center is here. Yes. What I want to do is I want to bring this here. Like this. And just kind of do this. Oh, whoop. Kind of do the same thing all around. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Skip a block. Bam. One, two, three, four. Bam. And then kind of go in. Let's see. What's E? One, two, three, four. Bam. One, two, three, four. Bam. Bam. One, two, three, four. That's gonna kind of build these like little L shapes. Cause people will be able to build like you would expect. Um, but I wanna build like little parts into the map. So people have to work around a little bit of obstacle. Is it weird that I've like never ever used E to rotate? Like this feels like Illegal <laughs> for me to be using E while I'm building. Yeah, I'll be real. Uh, not a big fan of the skin. But, hey, other people are. And that is fine. <laughs> I am not one of them. Parkour. Ah. <laughs> Creative mode parkour, where I build and do parkour. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Mm 
There we go. It's on this side. There we are. It's facing me right now. Whoop! First one I missed. First and last one I'll miss. This is the last present. Yeah, I did that blind. Let's go. Yeah, I just wanted to add these up a bit. Oh. So that way it added a little bit of depth to the map. Uh, I'll probably add something in front of here as well. I'll probably just do like a long 3 by one Uh, let's do it like right here. Like I just said, three by one. Now, this one I can just copy paste because I'm going to put these. I I'm making the entire map symmetrical, so. I can just copy paste this into other parts of the map that I wanted at. It looks like a very simple map, and it's because it is. It's not supposed to be a complicated map, but the overall like finish of the map is going to be pretty solid, I think. The only thing I don't like is presents don't come in other colors, so I can't have a birthday present in this map. Right, making a copy. I just wish I could tell where this was easily. Is that what I needed was to have one extra gap? Yep, I did it right, cool. I spent almost as long figuring out where it needs to go than it would have taken me if I built it from scratch. That's okay, go, because now I know for a factoid that it's that's a block, that's a block, and that's the free spot. Yeah, that's the free spot. Just making sure. Yep, there we go. Once again, block, block, free spot? Or am I one more, one more back? One more back. Yeah, there we are. That's a nice little symmetrical map. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah, definitely the center is going to be the most chaotic area. This is definitely going to be a spawn point here. Uh, not a spawn point, but like, like this is where things are going to spawn. Item spawners. Uh, item spawn, yep. A uh, thing that can appear uh, present. It's just a way to grab extra equipment. Oh, one. Okay, so the map is probably going to be best of five, three minutes each, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably the best way of doing it. So time before first spawn, it'll take a minute before anything even shows up. But after it does, it'll be every 30 seconds. Do items respawn? Yes. Is it random? Doesn't matter. Is the base visible? No. What? What? No cost. What? That's weird. That That's like that. Okay. Actually, no, that's kind of cool. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Bonus ammo for weapons? Sure. Run over pickup? Nah. Item scale? Eh. It doesn't matter, it's just presence. Actually, no, it does kind of matter. Uh, enable the game start. Yes, continuously spawn items. Keep spawning items even if the previously... No, keep that off. I've learned that the hard way. Okay. So now I will add the present here. 
and then I can copy. There we are. And I'll add this in four other spots. Possibly right here. Yeah, I'll put one right here. And then I'm going to make it symmetrical all throughout. So I'll have one right here. And then one right here. So I got four present spawners. So that way, even during the game, there's more presents to throw out. Uh, so yeah, so I got my presents. Now I need to go to my player spawner area. Uh, as you can see, everyone's going to get three presents to start with. I'm going to need a clock. I'm going to need a HUD device. Uh, let's see. Okay, so HUD message. Bam. I need a clock. Where is it at? Bam. And then I need... Nothing else, I think. <laughs> uh, I, I think, like, this is just, like, spawn to when channel 1 activates. Teleport to when receiving from channel 1. So... Maybe I do need to make them team specific in order for this to work properly. So, let's see. So, on success, transmit channel one. Duration, it'll be 30 seconds. Gonna count down at uh, start at game start. Activating team any, activating classifies to everybody. Complete if you ever stop it. Is it visible during the game? Whether the device will be visible, sure, doesn't matter. Device color doesn't matter. Timer color doesn't matter. Display time in minutes, second. What's the difference? Seconds only. I can do seconds only. Timer has started, success, failure. Show on HUD, yes. Is it bold? Yes. Uh, urgency time. Enter the time before it enters emergency mode. Five seconds. Nah. No urgency needed. Audio effects. Yes. We'll, we'll have the little ticking. So loot up round starts in. And then it'll show up there. Because now that I'm thinking about it out loud. I, uh, not thinking out loud. But yeah. Team 1. Team two. I only have eight teams, but team three. But because of how the teleporters work, this might be necessary. Team four. Uh, team five. Team six. Team 7, and Team 8, and I'm going to go back into the arena, make the teleporters appropriate, starting with up here, and I'll go in corners first. This will be Team 1. This will be Team 2. Team three. Team four. And what I might also have to do is change teleporter groups because it looks like it's still accessible after the map because this is going to be building. So I should probably make it so it would just teleport to itself so nothing would ever happen. Alright, um, or maybe I think there's like an, uh, let's see, when, oh, when tele, when entered, when teleported. 
uh, when a channel emerges. So activate channel 2, and this will disable on channel 2. Disable on 2 when teleported to. Okay, so I just have to do that with all of them. Easy. Disable 2, teleported 2. And I, since they're all on the same channel, even if it's only one player, all of them will be deactivated. So now there's no confusion. I'm pretty sure this is a loop. Nice. Uh, all I have left is giving people mats and then setting up the rules for when they get kills. And then the actual rules. I haven't done any of that stuff, but I am just about done. So, uh, uh, creative, consumables, grab my mats. So let's drop, oh, 150. Then let's drop 100. Oh, I'm going to lose my shit. It's not letting me do 100 exactly. Oh, there it is. Drop 100. Then drop 50. Whew. Alright. My wrist kind of hurts from doing that. But alright. They have the wood they need. So now I need to set up the actual rules. So, it's going to be a team. Eight players. Uh, technically eight teams, so I'm going to keep it like that, so that way it doesn't mess up with the rules. Team size, size of one. I also just say split evenly, doesn't really matter. I said team size of one. Class identifier, none. End of game, spawn limit, one. Which means that's the only life. After spawn, go to spectator. Total rounds, five rounds. Should I do, should I do three five minute rounds, or five three minute rounds? I feel like for something like this, five rounds is better, but you might actually have to stick with three, five. So three rounds, five minutes each. Team rotation doesn't matter. Uh, I, I could do it every round, why not? A game, uh, end game on a match point win, yeah. Team visuals at a round start, five minutes, five minute rounds is the best way of doing it. Here we are. Um, all things not finished. No. Win condition is most round wins. Uh, eliminated to end. It's just last one standing. Last standing ends the game. Yep. Joining the progress. If you join in, you could spawn. Uh, spawn on next round. Spawn location. Spawn pads. Yeah. Uh... Respawn type individual, post game location, island start. If only res uh, only re uh, respawn if spawn pads are found, no. Auto start after 30 seconds, 3 second countdown. Even though there's no vehicles, I'm going to say 0 to this. Click player belt strictures, no, no out of bounds. Yes, you can spectate other teams. Score doesn't matter, friendly fire doesn't matter. Player collision on, because I'm not a sadist like Brit. Uh, screw the vehicle impact stuff, even though I don't have vehicles. Time of day, mm, doesn't really matter. Camera filter, default, light brightness, light color, light and the fog thickness, fog color, does not matter. Start with 100 health. Uh, start with 100 shield. Uh, infinite ammo, no. Infinite consumables, no. Infinite resources, no. Maximum building resources, we'll, we'll keep it a buck. We'll say, we'll say 500. 500 is fair. Harvest style, battle royale. Harvest multiplier, normal. Aim assist, mm, so yeah. 
No. Allow building. Uh, yes. Allowed to edit. Yes. Uh, building could destroy the environment. No. Environment damage. No. Structure damage. No. Self-built, team-built, enemy-built, enemy, and self-built. Sets which structures our players are able to damage based on who built them during the game. That's all. Okay, sorry. I'm being silly. There we are. Uh, pickaxe destruction is normal. PvP pickaxe is on. Range is normal. Start with pickaxe, yes. Down but not out. That's uh, it's not going to exist. Um, eliminate player items. We're going to drop them. That, that This is where it starts getting important. Allow item drop, yes. Allow item pickup, yes. Uh, allow uh, auto pickup, auto ammo. All right, just keep a default for those. Uh, respawn time does not matter because there is no other people, but I'll do it like that anyways. Spawn immunity does not matter once again. Fall damage is on. Gravity is normal. Jump fatigue is on. Glider redeploy. We'll keep it on. Why not? Um, player flight. Nope. Flight sprint doesn't matter. I'm going to just bring this down as low as possible. Uh, player name and location team only now health on elimination we'll say 50 by killing a person you get 50 health easy uh then you all then you just get their mats you don't have to get extra mats but you do get siphon because there's no guaranteed way of getting heals self damage on hit no zero damage it will just keep all that the same show wood show stone show metal don't show gold Maximum equipment slots, we'll keep it normal. Five slots, it's perfect. Uh, player elimination audio, yes. Hide the back bling, no. Enable fire damage. Oh, whether weapons with fire damage can set structures on fire. Yeah, obviously. Uh, between rounds, oh, this is for game. Game is 315. Round is... Oh, I, I see, I see. Three five and then five ten, easy. HUD info, uh, none. Cumulative stats, no. Show resource feed on eliminations. What? Use team score. Oh, team games whether with its player or you simply use the sum of the player stats allow. This allows teams to retain their score when a player leaves the team or game. Oh, I like that. I need to turn that on with all my team based games. So win condition is health. You're the last person with health. Uh, but eliminations are what's important. Assists are also cool. Eliminated is good to know. Uh, that's it. Map screen display is a scoreboard. Uh, yeah. Show cumulative scoreboard, no. Show an island watermark, sure. All of the rest of these are the same. Uh, hide elimination feed, no. Hide party limbs, doesn't matter. Uh, we'll back this up as we have it right now, because that's all the rules. Now, all I need to do is give description, and everything is fine. There we are. So let's say up to play up up to eight players do get down a completely random free for all, in a completely atom free for all with presence. That's the only way to get mats, ammo, mats, weapons, ammo, etc. Um. Battlefield.
Bam. All right. Uh, so this one's going to be a... Not a battle royale. Definitely not a battle royale. I want to know how to do a board game. I would love to make a board game. Let's see. It is an free... It's a free-for-all. Free-for-all gun game, technically. Uh, just for fun. Mini game. Perfect. Fifty kills on elimination. Fifty health. Perfect. So, I'm going to hit start game to see how it treats me. Just to see if it works. Alright, I got a shotgun. A shotgun and an AR, an SMG, sorry. Three, two, one. And it puts me in the game. Beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. Uh, only thing I might change now that I'm looking at it is these presents right here. I purposely put them on a half marker. I might want to put them on a full marker uh, because of the building aspect of it. And I can't break these, right? Cool. Alright, yeah, no matter how much I try. Might want to let me swap my builds, thank you. Oh, it's because I'm hitting the wrong button. That would explain a lot. Oh, right. Glad to redeploy. It's also one. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't like having two shotguns. Bam. Oh, there we go. I'm already at my shield limit. But yeah, no. So it, it worked. It's exactly what I wanted. It's always gold loot, which I think is kind of cool. Two, one, boop. Oh, that spawns back. If it's always gold shit and it's always like the same core weapons. Oh yeah, there we go. Hunting rifle. That's something different. I just want to kind of like go around and just like test that. Uh, pump shotgun. All right. That's the second pump shotgun we've seen. A bolt sniper. Okay, so it is fairly different. It's for the most most of the time though, it is gonna be a gold. Yeah, a gold pump, that's a third pump. It is nice though that sometimes I do give you the extra heals too. I think I'm just gonna stick with the one in the middle probably. Cause having them everywhere can be chaotic, I can imagine. Oh, there we are, SMG. But yeah, no, I think I'm just going to remove the extra ones and make the timer a bit longer. But other than that, though, that is exactly what I was hoping for. So that's it. That, that's the map, and you'll be seeing it debuted on Saturday. After I fix my couple things. <laughs> okay, so yeah, four spawners, definitely too much. That was one of the things I need to fix. The other thing was the position of the outside two by two by one, two by one by twos. So I'll fix that as well. There we are. 
So start after a minute 30 because I forgot about the fact that we all start later and then we'll do it every 45 seconds. So I don't think this bit's necessary. Get 50 health on elimination. Fifty health on elimination. And glider re deploy. And there we are. I think that's probably better. And I don't want to leave this until it actually updates. There it is. So okay, so let me get these off to the side a bit. So I'm gonna take it off and move it in one. And same thing here, move it in one. I am glad that the teleport has worked as I hoped. Oh, I forgot to get the top of that one. And the one before it. Cool, cool. I think that was all the things I needed to fix was the placement of those. Oh, I forgot the roofs. Um, placement of those, the present spawn problem. And I think that was all of those. Yeah, I just forgot this one. Okay. But yeah, I am curious how to do like a turn-based thing or a board game type thing in Fortnite Creative. I'll probably just have to Google that one though. Just like how to do this. But alrighty. I think that is going to be it for me tonight. Um, yeah, birthday bash does work. So I want to thank you guys for checking out the stream tonight. Um, tomorrow I will be here playing Super Mario Maker 2 with Magsy. So... That'll be fun. We're just going to play a whole bunch of like random levels together. Uh, so it'll be some good fun. But all right, guys. Uh, thank you guys for checking out the stream, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.